Hi everyone! Uh, right, I've got a box of goodies here that um, I'm going to play around with now. So I'm going to take this uh, off the desk and then I'm going to make things ready because I'm going to do a cushion. And for the cushion I need to put things on it. So we're going to see what we can play with and I'll be back. Now I've got, I'm just going to put the camera up a little bit so you can see a little bit more. Now I've got lots of uh, pearls and things like that that I can play around with besides the loose ones. So I'm just going to shove them down there. Because I might want to hand stitch some on. What's this? Dog, cat, whatever. So I've got some of these. These are fused pearls. So they won't come undone. But I've got this doily and I'm going to cut some of these and I know you're saying oh how can you do that Fiona easy <laughs> cut it cut 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 that's how we do it just keep cutting how are you going to use up and use it on a project if you're not going to cut it I'm not sure you can see what I'm doing I don't know how many of these I'm going to need so I'll just cut half a dozen if I need any more but these are things I'm going to be making to be able to, to go on to a project. So I'm going to be doing a cushion. Now that looks like the back. But that will turn over like that. They'll all turn over actually. So they're all laid the right way. So I've got some of those. I mean I've got the... Oops. I don't want you mate. And you've got some of these as well that I might want to use. I don't know. We'll see. I've also got bling at the side of me, dish of bling, I've got bling at the other side of me, I've got bling all over the place. But what I'm going to need is a mat. So if I use that um, as the cushion itself. Now the other thing I might need is a picture. And I like to build around the pictures. So I'm just going to choose a picture that I want. I'm hoping I've got one that's a decent size. Um, don't want, the, want one that's too small or too large. Let's have a look. I like this one. I'll choose this one. Because I like this. Really nice one, that. The canvas pictures will be out again shortly, though. So don't worry about it. <laughs> what I'm going to do to start with is just to cut around her now I'm going to make the flowers as well now whatever we need to do I'm going to do it for this project I haven't got the glue gun on I'm not going to I'm not going to include them flowers because we're going to give her some flowers to hold so it doesn't really matter and there'll be some flowers underneath there as well. You won't even see those. So I'm going to place her here. Here, I think. Yes. And now I have to stitch her in. But I'm not fussed about that. So I'm just going to start at the nape of the neck because I might put some trimming around her, exec, you know, as well. So I'm just going to tack it into place. I would if my needle would stay, if it stay on my needle. Let's try that again, Fifi. There we go. You only want a little bit. So we're just tucking that into place. Then I'm going to move down a little bit. Like I say, we don't need much. Just a tack here and there. But I'm going to have something coming over her shoulder, like some flowers. So that won't matter. So 
I'm doing nice big stitches here. It doesn't matter about that either. Now I could glue it, but I haven't got the glue gun in this room, and um, I just want to. Use, I, I've got more light in here, and I like the uh, film when it's done. I've just done it again. <laughs> Um, look, I'm breeding. Always oh, sticking myself. I'll do it. I'm just going to go around to here. I'm going to leave all this open because I'm going to put some stuff in here. Okay, and that's it. That's all I need to do. I can do one more maybe attach it over there like that and then we just stitch that off I can't wait for the new stuff to come in folks I really can't wait it's gonna be <laughs> um, grab it while you can i've still got that giveaway for last month to do i haven't forgotten it's just that i'm really really busy you know when you have to spend so much if you spent a ten or if you spent a fiver so i will do it i've got it all at the side of me the kit's ready to go right so i've got that and i think what i'm going to do is see what jewelry we've got that we can use up hmm this is all the blingy stuff that we oh look that ring now I can take that off I, I know she's in like a reddish thing but we can color that pink so that can be glued on what I'm going to do now is to use some of these trims So I'm going to cut this. Like I say, it is quicker to glue it, but I'm not going to. And I'm basically, I'm just going to stitch it into place like that. So how much do I need? These are what I've taken the doilies out of the middle, and then. Right, there's plenty on there. I might as well just use it until it's gone, to be honest. So, I'm going to go get my bigger needle. I don't want to lose that. <coughs> I don't think I've got one in here. So, what I'm going to do is just... Start it here, above the top of her head. I'm going to turn that around so I can manage it better. Now, what I'm going to do is just a little pleat. That's all it takes, a little pleat. And then another little pleat. And 
and just double stitch that in. And then another one. Another little pleat there. And we just keep doing that as we're working our way around. See, once it's mainly all uh, stitched in, then the um, these will be like glued into place. Sorry, that's annoying the hell out of me. Right, I'm going to go round on that corner there instead of leaving it as a right angle. doesn't matter if it doesn't go to the end because there's going to be quite a bit of uh, lacy stuff on here and that's just enough I'm going to flip that under like that I'll we'll take that underneath You won't see any of this. It's going to become a cushion. So as you can see, see how it's starting to come together already? Not fussed about any of that. We can clip all of that back. That's it. We can clip this before we start doing anything else with it. Okay. That's nice. And um, let's see what else I've got now. I've got some of these bits. Not sure I want to use that one actually. Nor that one. I'm just having a look at what I've got. Oh, I'll tell you what, I have got this. Okay. You just have to excuse me because I've got a tablecloth here that I want to cut into. And um, the reason being, I like the colours. It's a vintage cream. But let's just see what we can do with this. I know it's quicker to do it with the glue gun. In fact, I might see like this. Hmm. Yeah, just bear with me. Hi, everyone. 
right um i've started this little project now it's going to be or oh, it's supposed to be a cushion um just a small one chosen with the picture that i want and she looks like she's looking down onto flowers and i'm just um choosing some of these little doilies that i have i have to cut out of a doily mat i've already hand stitched this on another doily edging and i'm going to be adding lots more so i just want a few of these sorry um you know you i've got to do it as i go along all i'm doing is just cutting these out It's quite heavy this tablecloth to say it's only small. So I'm not quite sure. I'm going to cut a few more. Just so I've got enough. Now I've got a project coming up. It's a double fan. I'm doing two fans for Jane Robinson. And, you know, <laughs> the, she wants a black and white one. As you know, she collects black uh, and silver. Um, and then a vintage one for, uh, which is the golden cream, which is for a bedroom. But the black and white one's a living room. And they're quite big fans. So that's what I'm going to be doing for her. And I'll go through that with you. Right, so, like I say, we've got these. Make sure you can see. Kind of like, if you know what I mean. There we go. I'll try and keep it in view at all times. Right, I've got my glue gun here. Now, these are so pretty. I, sorry, I'm going to do it that way. Cut them up the middle. And I'm going to turn them over. So, this is the back side of them, because I like the pattern on the front. It's kind of like a... It sits inwards if you know what I mean if you can see it comes out that way whereas if you turn it over it's that way and I like it that the way I'm doing it now so what I'm going to do is just to push this here and then we open that up and just stick that down just to double layer this basically I'm not bothered about all bits and pieces we'll sort through that I need the glue gun to sit so again like I say and just cut them and I've been having messages from people saying oh I finally cut a doily Fiona and I'm thinking good for you <laughs> Because a lot of people are scared to death of doing it. And they really are. It's uh, quite shocking to me. <laughs> Cut the doily. I don't have. I used to be like that uh, myself, but I don't anymore. I just do it. You know, if you want to achieve something, just do it. I'm having this quite deep here. Oh. So I'm just folding it into three, which is giving me that thickness oops, that I need. My glue gun won't stand up. Ugh. I've got to use the show bonder. I haven't started using it yet. I've got this one. I might swap and go back to it because at least it's got a little stand, I think. Or oh, they used to have a stand. Right, 
That's it, and we've got one more here. So I want to do that and that. And that one's going to sit just there. Now I'm going to use this pearl string because it's a fused pearl that was um, on a necklace and I'm just going to use this from here. I'm just going to glue that into place in there. Oops that's got a piece. Oh dropped it now. Oh. Come on, woman. Yeah, so we'll just pop that just in like that for decoration only. Like that. Push that into that doily. This, it lets loads of glue out unfortunately but I can't do anything about that I, that's why I wanted the show bonder because that's a really good one because quite a few people are not sure what to put on pictures or near them and things like that but that's pretty that isn't it yeah so now what I'm going to do is this side and I have some fabric. Now I know she's got pink. I don't, oh, do I? I've got a bit of that. Hang on. Oh, hers is red, isn't it? Oh, we've got that bit as well. And that would tie in, wouldn't it? Oh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Let's have a look. Now I like this one, look, I can trim this one and do that. So that's one. Two. I might as well just cut them all because I can put them out and about whenever I want them and I've got that doily oh that's pretty look got like little loops might find a use for it somewhere right let's take this off yeah I like those so what I'm going to do is to glue that down just start there just easier to do it like that mate I've overlapped them that's why I needed to cut them right let me get a glue stick oops see this they leak like mad these glue guns and they do me yeah, adding oops let me put a mini pearly thing then so I'm going to overlap it that'll do Right. 
like that and I think we can no I'm not going to don't need to so I've got them like that they can go back in the pot for now I've got some of this fabric which I do like I'm going to make that's it I'll do it this way some edging out of this so I'm going to cut it just to tidy the edge up a bit take that bit of glue off there now let me get my bigger scissors I need two pieces like that and then I'm going to cut this the same and do two pieces like that so let's have a look just going to glue this on so what I'm going to do is just take a little dob of glue and glue that together and I'm only going to do that every so often let me hold that away from the picture because I keep dropping the glue <laughs> so that's all I'm doing and just fold that over because when glues hardens um, it goes when glue dries it goes hard and you won't be able to do much with it then so I'm just going to cut this one here turn the end in let me just undo that a little bit sorry so I'm just going to do that a little bit of glue here and there just tuck that in and then glue that down that's fine it's nice it's got a neat edge that's all you need is a neat edge So I'm going to use this end first and we glue that in. I'm going to glue it in about there. That's what you've got to be careful of, it glue goes right through and I haven't got my non-stick mat on me at the moment. Although I should be using it. But never mind. Flip this over. like that and then we're going to fold it and put a put a crease in it like that they don't have to be you know too big too small you can do them whatever you want we're going to follow this because we need to be able to see this underneath Sorry. So we just fold it over, follow the contour of the piece, you know, of that. Press that down. You're going to go over that as well, so don't worry about it. But that's a little bit there. I'm going to do the same thing again. Fold it over. Mm. 
like that. Let me fold it over again. Just little dots. I mean, you can just do it like this. See, just do that every now and again. And then glue that, just make sure they all glue down. I'm making a pig's ear to this. But what I'm saying is you don't have to, um, you know, do too much. I'm going to bring that, let's just straighten this out around to here, see, like that and any that's not stuck, you just go in and do it like that, see, just makes a fancy piece uh, then what I'm going to do is, I've got these, hang on, I need to put these on first as well. I've got these that I've made up a while ago. Hmm, I might as well take them all out and see which I want to keep. Do you know that yet? Yeah. I just made up of the new ribbons that came in, now I just made some up. In case I needed to uh, use them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one here. These are the larger ones. And then one there. I'm going to do the same this end. One here. I'm going to move that in a bit. Another larger one. It doesn't matter if you go over something at all. But I'm just going to lift that up there and stick that over. Because you can just do that. That's it. Simple. And I've got the smaller one. Which is going to go one there. Stick that, mate. It's because it's ribbon. They come undone, but they'll glue down eventually when you press them. Right, and now I can glue that down. Move that out of the way. So that's stuck where I want it. Move that out a little bit, I think, like that. That's it. I'm going to do a couple of these here. So we're going to go one, two, and then do a third one there, like that. I mean, if this was a page in a book, you know, it'd be nearly done, wouldn't it? <laughs> and then what I'm going to do with these is uh, get them the right way. P 
peel that back slightly I'm going to put that in there one there one here and then one in here I'm also going to put one at the back here like that and then that can be glued back down like that hmm. so I do want some more of those so I'm going to do it here as well oh wait I've got the flowers to go in there so hang on let's see what else we can put in where did I put those I want some more trim here so let me just sort through what I've got mm. oh we can have that as well that matches doesn't it that's the right colour that's too big Right, now I've got these and they're just, there was uh, lace on it so I've just cut them, cut the lace off and kept those panels um, because I can, and I'm going to, make use of them. Flip that back, flip that back, that's the lowest point. So I'm going to do that No, I want that smaller, that's way too big Okay Flip it back Flip that back I'm going to cut it as well Get A little bit smaller and then I'm going to trim that into a petal shape see like that ooh now watch this let's just shorten this a little bit so we pop a bit of glue in the middle and we fold it fold it and then we twist it just twist it once and then we can add that to this one just there and bring them petals out a little bit like that mm. and then what I'm going to do is take where's that flower thing I had Let's have a look, see which we've got. Now, no, I don't want to waste that. That we cut off when we cut them bits off. So what I'm going to do is to get another glue stick. <laughs> I'm always getting glue. I've just dropped a big blob on there I'm going to put that on there let that cool a minute I'm going to take that off you know what I've changed my mind changed my mind don't want that on there and I need to get that blob off it's too hot at the moment do it that way right right let's have a look so oh yeah I've got this so I'm going to take my it needs to stand up right take my needle and thread I'm 
Now I'm going to fold this end in and just start to stitch it. Okay, oh, we're on it that way, you silly move, Fiona. You've started wrong end, do it that way. <laughs> Okie dokie. Just do a running stitch. because these can be however you want them okay like that and stretch mine out a little bit and then take the other piece flip that in because that's what we're going to do we're going to join these two bits together They've got gold little spots in there so they match with this and they match with the tone of her skin now i'm going to find a bit of bling i've got a jar full of it at the side of me why did i do that oh that's gone wrong way you silly cow <laughs> stupid moo ah. Put it back on, Fee. Right, start again. So I need that to continue this way, you silly woman. I don't want it that way, I want it that way. Step that in. That's it. I'm going to have to turn that over and continue that way. And I don't need to tuck it in because it's got the raw edge, you know, the uh, edge where they've um, made the, the edging good there. So it won't come undone when it was made. Right, so. I'm going to leave the thread on it like that because I just want to separate this a little bit. Pull some down and I can work with it as I go along. So we're just going to uh, what we do is pop that on there I'm going to go below so you can still see this pleated one above I'm going to glue that bit down so that doesn't come undone and then I can pull this when I need it to be perfect fit just perfect so I'm gonna take this off now uh, stitch this off there we go Let's put that over there lift that up and then pop this back 
in there. Lovely, isn't that nice? Doesn't matter that that's a little bit more gathered there than anywhere else. It's uh, fine. Got glue on me then. And you can still see that it's pleated. And we've got the ruffle as well. We've got this ready for uh, some flowers, which I'm just going to get out. Um, I wanted to do this one first, though, since I found this, because this is the same uh, colour. So we're keeping in with the theme. So we're going to do two. Now, just cutting them in half. Again, it's about layering. And that's what we're doing. We're layering. Not pretty, isn't it? And here's the last one, which we can just fit in there. not pretty because all the colors tight i like the colors anyway but what i'm going to do we've got one main color <laughs> all right just make sure we can do that but i've got some of these we do sell them in the shop we sell the laces and that and the doilies don't miss out on them doily packs, folks. I'm going to start one here. These are gorgeous. Right, now what I do need to do is to snip that. So I'm going to work my way around. We'll just stick them in there because you can still see all the layers not a problem and they just go in like that got the pink in so it matches in with this here I'm going to put one in there like that you don't have to have everything even or anything like that at all now um, I'm going to give her because now we've got the pink in I'm going to give her a little bling there on her dress and we need to give her something in her hair I'm just going to pop that See what we do have in our bling box. Beautiful. Yeah. More with the style, I think. Yeah, like that. Um, 
Now the brooches that I've done um, Personally myself I think can go on there Because you can put them anywhere And I just think that little bit of bling Will look nice here I'm going to do that with that bit and if I'd have changed that stone, because even let me see if I've got a pink stone to go in that, I could change the stone. Probably not, but um, I've got, oh, I've got that one now. It's not big enough. Not big enough. Not big enough, unfortunately. I've got that. That's a little pink button. You know, you can just sit there next to that piece. Why not? Nice little pink button. And you know what? While we're at it, we're going to add a little pearl. And I'm going to choose that one. At the same time, we're going to have a little pearl. So you've got like a little cluster of things going off there. Hmm. Shame, innit? Because that could have gone there. But never mind. Um. I'm just trying to think now I've got these I don't want those anymore we've done those oh we've got these see like these little flowers Gonna take them off. Just pull some heads off. Not literally, <laughs> as in people. So I'm just gonna stick one there. That fills that gap up. And I need like a flower here, but I need to fill it out as well. So what I'm going to do is take these that's left like that and see how many we've got there take a little doily now hang on I want to make sure I get the right one and I need the ones I've been using here so I'm going to take one of those I'm going to take two of those actually one I'm just going to glue these together just to give it a bit of thickness I'm going to stick this in the middle like that now I'm just going to move it over because we don't have to just so we can see her let's move that around that way so we can see that like that I'm going to stick this one in the middle and I can get some more glue like that I could have just taken them bits off but it doesn't matter and then we've got these just to fill in any gaps like that fill all the gaps in put that back in the middle that's where it was missing like that yeah 
Now let me just see. Oh god, it's all stuck down to the mat. Oh, <laughs> they stuck my needle. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Now, I'm not keen on this bit here, but that's not a problem because we can cut this off like that. I'm not going to cut it off, I'm going to tuck it behind her. That's it. Hang on, that's come off. Yeah, that's fine. We're ha I'm happy that that's like that. We can put some more flowers here. Like she's looking down on them. Where's that little... Where's my flowers gone? Just had the dancing. Here. <laughs> Go and stick that in there. And that in there. So like she's looking down on those flowers. That's fine. And we've got these, um, which I'm gonna just put on the top. See here, I'm just going to sit them there just to tidy that edge up. So I'm trimming the edges off to make it neat. So we can do that. And this is what I like about this sort of crafting. You can put anything on. You don't have to have it colour coordinated and you can use up a lot of scraps uh, which is a great thing. Oh, I think I went and did that wrong way then, never mind. Just want to make sure we've got them on right. Like that. See that? It's just layering it again. But that can either become a um, wall hanging, cushion, whatever you want it to be, it doesn't matter. Uh, I wanted it to be a cushion, uh, I'm going to, I don't know, I might just, I don't know, a page, could be the front cover of a book, couldn't it? But you know what, let's do, anybody wants this, does anybody want it? If you would like it, put your name down, you can have it. I will have to draw out because there'll be more than one probably. If not, that's fine. Um, and we'll let those that want it have it. So, I'm just going to find some more. One, two, three. Oh, can we got enough? Have we got enough? One, two three I suppose I can spread them out put one there put one there and put one there they don't have to be perfect do they there right if you want that and you want to finish it off Maybe you do, maybe you don't. 
just say I'd like it Can, um, I'll have it please or whatever you want to do and we shall see I will draw out a winner I'd choose a winner if anybody wants it they don't have to have it it's just a little thing nothing much ain't it There you go. Cut that off a little bit too. There. And let's have a look. So I've handmade this for you. <laughs> and yeah, we can get rid of all that. There you go just that you can use it for a book cover or whatever you want to use it for if anybody would like that let me know thanks for watching take care i'll speak to you all soon bye bye for now